Hi guys and welcome to a new video. So today I got the Samsung Galaxy S8 with me over here and so this S8 runs on Android Pie together with Lineage OS. So um, let me confirm you that quickly. So this is the Android version. It's 9.0 normal Android Pie just like uh, the latest One UI update of this phone. But this Android Pie is based on Lineage OS 16, as you can see. So this here is not One UI. This is normal AOSP or a AOSP-based ROM, which is really nice. So it's a really minimalistic ROM, as you can see. It has only got 15 apps pre-installed or only 14 because the Play Store comes with the GApps package. Um, yeah, so today in this uh, video we are basically going to install this ROM on our Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus and then um, we are also going to take a short look on this ROM, um, if it's worth installing on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or not. Right, so to install this ROM um, there are a few pre-requirements you need to have. So the first one is of course the ROM itself, so you will need to download the ROM from the description of this video as well as the GApps package and you also need TWRP installed on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. So if you don't know how to install TWRP or if you haven't done that already, you can do that with watching the video in the description below. Right, so um, the ROM files can also be downloaded from the description below and yeah, so um the first thing which you need to do to install this rom is to power off your device so let's do that quickly then you will need to boot to the twrp recovery so for that you will need to press on the volume up button you will need to press the volume up button the bixby button and the power button at the same time so let's do this This here is the TWRP recovery, so the first thing which you need to do is to go to the Vibe section and do a normal factory reset from here. Then go back, go to the install option and locate your ROM where you have started. So in my case it's in the internal storage, press on there and locate your ROM. So this is the ROM package, it's called Lineage 16 um, with a build date and yeah. so. Find your ROM, press on it and swipe to flash it. So this process could take like one or two minutes. You just need to wait until it's finished. So as you can see, the installation of the ROM is completed now. And now you also need to install the GApps to get the Play Store. So if you don't install the GApps, you won't have any Google apps on your phone, including the Play Store. So I've downloaded the Open GApps, so you can download them on uh, from the description of this video. So this is the normal Open GApps for Android Pie. And this here is the smallest package, it's about 100 megabytes big. And um, yeah, so press on it and swipe the flash again. So this process could also take like one or two minutes. You just need to wait again.
So as you can see, the installation process of the uh, GIPS is also completed now. You can go back and do a wipe again, but you are not forced to do so, so it's not it's only recommended. Um, after this is finished, press on Reboot System. And if TWRP asks you to install the TWRP app, say do not install from here. So the phone will boot up now. So this process could also take like uh, one or two minutes. But if it takes longer than five or six minutes, you have definitely done something wrong. So, um, I mean, if the boot takes more than five minutes, you have definitely made something wrong there. And yeah, so the boot time shouldn't take more than five minutes. So as you can see the boot uh, is finished now, the phone booted up and this here is the welcome screen of Lineage OS. So you will need to uh, choose your um, language from here and then press on start. If you don't have any SIM installed on your phone you can say skip and connect to your Wi-Fi network. So I will skip this as well right now. Let's say continue, press next. I will untick all of these, so press accept now. So now the phone asks us to set up a fingerprint, but um, this here is the only bug of the ROM, so the fingerprint scanner does not work on this phone. So if you try to set up your fingerprint and if you select pattern for example, so let's do that quickly. So. If you try to uh, set up your fingerprint, it will vo it won't work basically. So as you can see, it does not recognize my phone. It basically doesn't work at all. Um, yeah, so this is the only bug of this ROM. So the developers may fix this issue with time, but um, yeah, it's not hundred percent sure, of course. Um, here you can enable or disable uh, privacy guard or. Uh, you, he, here you have also got the decision to improve Lineage OS or not with sending your data. Yeah. Um, press next, press start, and then you are ready to go. So now we have installed Android Pi together with Lineage OS on our Samsung Galaxy S8. Um, so the screen may look a bit yellowish through this camera here of my note, but the screen is really white so um, this is really nice and you've also got a blue light filter i think but i'm not pretty sure so let's go to display um yeah it's called live display so here you can uh, change your display mode or your color temperature um you've also got something called style so here you can change the style of your interface so you can set it to dark mode but as you can see, the dark mode is not completely black. To make it completely black, you will need to go to dark mode and say black. So now, as you can see, the background is completely black. Even the notification panel is completely black right now. Um, so this here will save a lot, a lot of battery. The notifications are still white for some reason, um, but yeah. You can also change your accent color. So as you can see, the default one is uh, green, but you can also choose tomato red, for example. And now everything has got red. Here you can see the, your fonts, your icons, 
and even your um, notification toggles are red now. Right. So um, something which I miss a bit is um, are the gestures. So as you can see, you got your normal um, navigation bar there. So we haven't got the pixel navigation bar. And due to that, we haven't got the uh, the gestures here. So as you can see, they do not work. So multitasking is a bit hard on this ROM, to be honest, just because we don't have the gestures and the multitasking interface of Android Pie is not easy to use without the gestures, right? So this is something which uh, is not a really nice thing, but Lineage OS may implement this uh, gesture thing to Lineage OS with time. Um, the camera is working great. Of course, you won't get the best camera experience on this ROM. So to get the best camera experience, you will definitely need to install a uh, touch with ROM or a ROM based on one UI. Um, you can also install the Google camera, I think. And together with the Google camera, you may get a bit better uh, camera experience. But um, the onboard camera is also quite okay as i've said before it's not the best one but it's enough to take some simple shots right um the video recording is also working as you can see so we haven't got any issues there so you can see that we have this shutter sound inside the video as you can see which is not that nice so you will need to mute your phone before you start to take a uh, video um yeah but overall it's a really nice rom it's really smooth it's really fast we don't have any legs and it's really minimalistic so the ram usage should be really really good on uh, this rom so you can see we only have um 15 apps or only 14 without the play store because the Play Store came together with the G apps. Um, yeah, as you can see, it opens the apps quite fast. It has got nice animations, and you can also make the animations faster, as you know. So, um, yeah. So, this was the video, guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a dislike. As always, if you have some questions, you can write your questions down below. So, um, I don't think that I will get a lot of comments on this video, so I will be able to answer all of your questions under this video. Um, but if you have some serious problems, you can also join our Telegram group. Um, we are trying to help you out of your situation. Right. Yeah, so this was the video and peace out, guys.